Watch out for that creeper, Jeffrey. Jeffrey starts playing Minecraft. What kind of Minecraft player do you think Jeffrey would be? Would he be peaceful and helpful in the server? Would he build beautiful and complex monuments? No. Jeffrey is a griefer. This is the kind of motherfucker who will reset your progress. You spent so long building your house. Jeffrey doesn't even know how to make TNT on this game, but he'll come in and block by block destroy what you've built. He will destroy everything you love. And then when you're upset because you've just lost an entire few days of progress, Jeffrey will smirk and say, oh, relax, bro. It's just a game. It's not just a game, Jeffrey. I've just spent 10 hours making that shit, bro. What the fuck? Adonis. Block by block, Adonis builds a beautiful castle. The lighting, the attention to detail, the courtyard, it's all perfect. Adonis doesn't know what Minecraft is. This is his castle in real life. You see, Adonis chooses to build great things in the game of life. Why would he invest his time and his energy into a virtual world? And so Adonis goes out there and slays dragons, but he doesn't slay the ender dragon. He lives the life that all video gamers want, but it's just easier to do all that in the virtual world. You wanna know what kind of kid I was? I was the kid who after high school would run home, literally, ah, oh, fucking cringe, run home past everyone who knew me, right? And they knew why I was running home. I was running home so I could go play video games. It's a chilly Tuesday at 3 p.m. and I've just gotten onto my laptop, open up Skype, and there's already a call going. They're already inside of the server that we used to play on, which was Minecraft Hunger Games. If you ever played Minecraft Hunger Games, bro, oh my God, we have so much in common. That sh was the, Oh, I have never felt my heart beating so fast. Imagine entering like a server. There's a hundred different people right next to you. You start off with nothing. And the idea is, okay, survive. Do whatever the f it takes to survive. You can make teams if you want. You can go find shit. You can build shit. Just f***ing survive. Don't get killed by anyone else. And every few seconds, you see people dying, 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 dying. You've survived the initial slaughter. You gain some resources and you hear footsteps. Some people can say that, oh, but it's just the game. But it's like, bro, you've been in this game for 20 minutes. That's some like valuable time. And you've got some level of commitment and investment to survive. Survive. You want to win. And the sound of someone else keeps getting louder and louder and louder. And then you see him. He's got full iron. You f***ing scream to your boys. You and your boys have only got stone swords, but you're just going to f***ing try it. Your heart start dropping. The full iron guy's hitting you hard. You're pretty sure one of the hits was from one of your boys by accident. And then out of nowhere, the guy in full iron just explodes into a burst of items. You've got full iron to share amongst you. And you even have 20 iron ore. Your boys are scream like we can actually win this that was so so fun i enjoyed moments like that for hundreds of days in a row until eventually i quit playing minecraft i was kind of insecure and i felt like it was a childish game and then for some reason i thought the more mature video game for me to play was league of legends and <laughs> there was more children on League of Legends than there was on Minecraft. So then high school finishes, I'm 16, 17 playing League of Legends. I don't play Minecraft again for many, many years. Interestingly, up until I was around 22 years old and the COVID lockdown has just happened. I'm an adult, I've graduated from university. I have a job in a homeless accommodation shelter and I have a girlfriend. I'm living with my girlfriend, so I'm not living with my family. I'm living with my girlfriend in an apartment in the city. And we were into like bad habits at this time. We were kind of like lazy, you know, this is COVID lockdown. Nobody knows what the fuck was happening. So we would literally wake up Put on our bathrobes, get high, and then play Minecraft together. So imagine that you've lived your entire childhood and teenage years as a gamer. And the one thing you've kind of always wanted was a gamer girl. Like we all want a gamer girlfriend. And eventually you meet a girl who you like and you're vibing with. And she buys a gaming PC just because you've got one. And then you both want to play together. And we played like various games. We played like Dying Light and RuneScape League of Legends. But Minecraft was always one of our favorites. We set both of our computers up like back to back in one of the rooms we had in the apartment. Apartments. We had like those LED lights. <laughs> Good times, man. So in Minecraft, me and her made like a normal world and the idea was that we were trying to get to the Ender Dragon and we made like a massive farm. It was the first time that I was playing Minecraft in so long and so there was so much new for me to learn. There's like flying bats or some shit and there was a crossbow and we used to troll each other and I remember there were some times when like I'd break the blocks and then that, that's a classic. I'd break the blocks underneath her and just make her fall or I'd trap her in like obsidian or some shit. And every now and then we'd like kill each other. We'd be proper fighting each other. It was good times, man. Those times during the COVID lockdown when that's literally all I did all day, they were pleasurable. But young men must grow through discomfort. So even though I was living what was my former dream, I wasn't really happy. I had this constant nagging thought in my mind of like, what are you doing with your life? Like you haven't exercised in so long. Yeah, the gyms are closed, but you could have been doing home workouts. Why are you eating so much food? You said you quit smoking weed. You can't even afford that shit. 
be productive, you want to create some kind of success for yourself, study, read books, do something valuable with your time. Eventually those fun times were just getting plagued by negative thoughts. I hadn't grown myself as a person in so long that I became so sick of being me. I lashed out like a dumbass. I lashed out at her. I lashed out at the video games. You know, I hate video games and everything. And like, oh, I hate junk food. I hate weed and everything. And this was the hardest decision of my life. This was honestly the hardest decision of my life. It took me nine months to make this decision. You know, you can buy like notepads from the shop, like two full books notepads of journaling weighing up the decision to leave to move back to my family home knowing that I would break up with my girlfriend and I would straight away stop all like the bad habits that I was doing so I could be focused on my growth and my future trajectory nine months it took me to weigh up that decision I left her I left Minecraft I left Manchester it was the city that I was living in so that I could move back to my family home be on self-improvement full-time start this YouTube channel and try and grow it as best as I could I've achieved a level of success that blows my mind and I'm so grateful that I quit playing Minecraft for that. I'm grateful for the memories that I've had and I'll always look back with a sense of nostalgia. But I've been so excited at the chapters ahead of my life as a young man who's putting in the work. Share this video with a Jeffrey friend who needs it. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it.